Hello, buddy. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be looking at Hello System, which is a free software alternative to macOS. And it's sort of, it looks similar, but not like, it doesn't look like a complete copy. Like, I've seen KDE themes that look more, but it's like, you can see they're, they're inspired. Like, one of the things we've got here is what's the full system menu bar, which, of course, if you use a Mac, you're used to, and the buttons look like the Aqua icons. Although it's still largely identifying as FreeBSD. This is the beta version. I also tried the um, earlier version, but I think this one is more complete. So I will go against sort of the recommendation to show this one off because I think it's nicer. So we have uh, the FreeBSD 13 version. Now I've never, other than macOS, I haven't used BSD before, but I think it's, I've always wanted to. So I'm sort of interested in that. It recognizes my virtual hardware and VMware quite well, and the graphics, it's not accelerated, but it looks works pretty well. You can see I've given this virtual machine 32 gigabytes of RAM, eight CPU calls, so I've got a couple of things we can do. We can go on the internet. We can actually, because I tried to already download Firefox. So we have a fair amount of application support. Unfortunately, not like as much as Mac OS, but a reasonable amount of, like, most free software is available. We can go on, we can use Firefox. Oh, we can even use Chromium. Oh, wow, that was fast. So we can go to YouTube. And for, and let's just see. Yeah, that's actually running insanely fast. I don't know if it's just because... Oh, and it's got, like, the macOS cursor as well. It doesn't support high DPI, so I have implemented that myself uh, in VMware. So that will sort of reduce the quality a little bit, but it still, I think, will be decent. Go to my community tab. I don't like the mouse acceleration, but part of that is just because I've got that set, the doubling of the resolution, but overall, not bad. And this reminds me of Mac OS 9. Like, this is the full screen. This minimizes it. That's cool. So now if we go into utilities, we've got a couple of options. You can do zero comp, which I think is for Wi-Fi. Remote assistance, which reminds me of Windows. We can create live media. We can get a calendar. Let's look at that. Okay, so it's basic, sort of like a Windows calendar. We've got Android file transfer. I don't have an Android phone. Okay, and it doesn't work, but that's okay because I don't. Yeah, we can do Hardware Pro. I'm sort of interested. So this will. Oh yeah, that's that bsd-hardware.info site. Uh, they built this in, and this, according to that site, of course, I think it's biased because they built it in. Hello System is the one of the most used uh, BSD distros on the desktop. Now, the cool thing about BSDs is that generally the whole package is made by one team, rather than like on Linux where you have the GNU tools, applications, utilities, under construction, battery, burn optical, disk utility, display, yeah, yeah, I had that. That was that was a bit primitive, but it, it worked. Maybe that was the other app. Okay. Oh, Python, that's interesting. And one of the things, as you can see, that they have, which is also in Mac OS and isn't in any other OS I'm aware of, is that applications are folders, in this case dot app. We can go into resources and then we can get to the actual actual files. And, oh here here we go. This is the actual file, and we can right click and get info. Oh, we even have a sudo. That's cool. So, that's your shell script, and then that opens by default. Here, it would open with the feather pad, but it also, we open the dot app. It runs just like a Mac application. That's cool. Now, this does this runs on Xorg. Doesn't use Quartz. I think Quartz is actually proprietary, so they couldn't. So let's see. Let's reboot this and see if we can reboot into the BSD environment. Okay, BIOS drivers disk. There we go. And now we get this nice Apple-esque BSD startup screen. This takes, given how light it is, it takes quite a while to start up. Oh, that's cool. And they've got some Kevin McLeod music here, so welcome. That's just like it appears. This has been optimized to run on real hardware. I will try, I will try this at least in a graphically accelerated because I did see they've got they've even done the Nvidia driver. I think that's why they chose a free VSD base. 
works for, not against you. That's cool. Command key is left to the spacebar. Uh, or if you're... Command should still equal meta. Because I'm using a, a PC keyboard. So here we go, we got start volume, we got MS-DOS-FS, I assume that's all. So now let's install some stuff. So let's go for Chromium this time, because I like Chromium. Password. So it's got sudo built in. And I've never I've never used Chromium on BSD. I know there one of the issues with BSD is that there's a relatively sparse amount of software. Because if you go on like a market share site, like Linux is like a percent. BSD is not even a hundredth of a percent. It is quite rare. But I think if more desktop distributions come out, it might take off more. So let's go into preferences. Okay, that's all good. So let's go to screen settings, which is different from that displays thing. And here we can choose a resolution. Let's just, because I usually like to use a virtual resolution of 1080p and then double that to 4K, so that's what we'll do. And then we'll go here. And there we go. Looks really nice. So now let's try, let's try browser speedometer. I don't know how good the VMware graphics is on this, so we'll find. So it just runs, this is just super responsive, which I like. Oh, that's, that's cool. And that's very Mac OS 9. Okay. So if I look, oh, oh, crashed, okay. Well, this is, this is like alpha software. So that's okay. Here we have our global menu bar, which I've seen that does exist in KDE, but it does not exist in most other uh, desktop environments. So we go, okay, let's try Firefox this time. I know Ubuntu Unity also had it. Okay. So it even, it even like got built in ability to download stuff. And what else can we do on here? Of course, people will often use Macs for graphical stuff and that's one of the issues is that in my opinion a lot of uh, open source graphic software is pretty limited but GIMP is all right for some things so we'll download GIMP. Okay it knows how to serialize. I want to see. Okay. Okay. So we've now got Firefox. We can go youtube.com. Can we actually watch anything? Seems like we can. That's running decently. I want to look at my user agent. Because I know that it is possible to run Linux binaries on BSD. So I'm not sure if this is a free BSD version or a... Okay. Free BSD. So there we go. That's cool because that, that means I'm counting for a very... Okay. Am I unique? I want to try this because I know that running obscure operating systems can have this can be quite identifiable because of this so i'm using oh wow i'm even free bsd yeah, firefox that's rare okay yeah no very few people have Let's see what should get a lot of unique hits on this well that's interesting so if you're on chrome it actually says that it's both free bsd and uh linux it's interesting so, DVD, or, okay, so all of these don't have maintainers. Let's see what version of Kden Live we have. Kden, let's just, let's just do it from the terminal. Okay, first of all, suit, why is that capturing the package install NeoFetch? What is NeoFetch? Okay, so it is, it is using Kwin as its window manager. It doesn't detect a desktop environment. We're using the Qterminal font, source code pro, which is, as far as I know, a Apple font. So that's interesting. That makes sense. That seems to be running decently. So one of the issues I've always had with Kwindow is that it can just be quite laggy. Okay, it's throwing a bunch of error. Okay, yeah, we can just, we can just, we can just ignore that. Okay, it works. And we've got up here our menu ball, which works, which makes sense because KDE supports that. So can we theme it? Settings, 
called a theme. Default. Okay, no themes. Okay, let's do configure uh, Caden Live. One of the things I want to see is, yep, this is a fairly new version because I actually added this function to Caden Live. I put that on the GitLab. So there we go. I can I can enable my own code or dis. I mean, my code disables something. So let's see if we've got any media on this. Documents. Home videos. Okay, we're done. So, oh, does Control C not work? Oh, we'll close it. I'm gonna just capture something with FFmpeg. Can I remember how to do this? Okay, so now we're capturing a very basic. Are we dropping? No, we're actually we're holding pretty good. I reckon we can actually do better than this. Does Control C not work? Do we need Alt C? Okay, apparently it's Command Dot, so we'll try that. Let's actually, though, I think we can do a lot better than this. I think we can do... I want to try 1080p60. Because I did this on a DWM VM the other day and it worked. Okay, so we did need that dash I. I'm not... I don't completely remember what that does, but okay. So here we go, we've now got a capture going, we can drag some windows around, try some other stuff. Let's go back to Chromium. Oh, it actually worked. Okay, open up my YouTube channel. Be the about page. All right. That all worked, and now we can go here and we can try command dot. Oh, apparently, they're okay. It's colon Q? I have no idea. I don't know if that's a BSD thing or a Hello System thing or what, because that definitely, that doesn't correlate with any uh, system I have ever used before, but, or maybe that's a, maybe that's a FFmpeg thing and not a terminal thing, but okay. Here we go in our home folder, output two. There we go. I didn't record audio of this. It's actually pretty smooth. It's a nice thing about a lot of uh, free software is that it's really well optimized. Like it, it generally runs really nice in comparison to proprietary software. So, there we go. Okay. Scroll that down. There we go. Video is playing pretty well. It's running pretty smooth. So that's interesting. So you can even capture uh, videos on this. Given that VirtualBox runs on BSD, as far as I know, it does. And get, like in theory, I might I might actually try that, making a whole video using. Hello system, because it seems like it would be possible. I think that's going to be all for this video. If you'd like another video showing Hello system on actual hardware, I'd be happy to make it, because I think this is actually a really cool project. I will link to their website and GitHub in the description in case any of you want to check out Hello system. Bye.